Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita for those who don't know me and for those who do, welcome back my loves. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be discussing my baby's stroller and namely a magical, almost amazing, innovative, new design stroller. It is very much a unicorn in the baby stroller game. So you might wanna watch this one if you're having a baby or if you're interested in gadgets, because this is the e-stroller. It's basically like the Tesla of strollers. I am of course referring to the Cybex. And disclaimer, first of all, I have the original Priam Cybex. It's like a pram, but it's called a Priam. That's their play on words. That's what they wanna do, let them live. And and this one is the E version. So disclaimer first, I have the preamp, the original one, and I have the car seat, and I have the Lux bassinet. And I was speaking to Anstel Brands about my love for Cybex. They're a company here in Australia, in Melbourne, I believe. And you can shop them online, I'll put the link below. And they told me that they have the new e -pram. And I was like, okay, okay, I see you. What's that for? Because my husband loves gadgets. And they told me that it's basically the electronic version. It's from zero to 22 kilos, just the, like the original pram. And I was like, oh wow, that's so cool. And they were like, do you want us to send it to you? And I said, sure, because who wouldn't want that? So in this video, you'll see my first reaction upon using it because this pram assists you as you push. It takes the weight of the baby, so you don't have to put your back out. And it also, this is my favorite feature by far. I'm just gonna ruin it now, but this is my favorite feature by far. If you're going down a hill, it assists you with not rolling down. So literally, if you even push the pram and let go, which you shouldn't do, don't do that. Do not do that. The baby's waking up. It will help you as well. So my thoughts on this pram are coming up in the video, but overall, it's a very, very interesting product indeed. The price point is the thing that of course people wanna know about. On the Ansel Brands website, the original Cybex, which is I guess the best comparison because we're judging the electronic part of it, not necessarily the Cybex against other prams. So comparatively with the original one, which I already have, it's 1,800 for the original versus 2,499 for the electric version. So that's a steep price difference. And in this video, I'm gonna be discussing whether it's worth it or not. The baby woke up feeling a little bit emotional. He wants to tell you about the Cybex pram too. What did you think of it, Leo? I guess there's several ways that you can judge a pram and that is on baby comfort, on weight, yeah, here you go, on baby's comfort, on weight, on usability, <coughs> and things like that. Oh. <laughs> what? Hi. Who's that? I'm not sure it's going to be possible to film with the squish. Is it? So I'm gonna have to come back to you. <laughs> Guys, hi, it's me, I'm back. This is like a week later and little tiny leopard is sleeping, but today's a really big day. He starts daycare today. I have all these cathartic, crazy emotions. Um, I tried a vitamin C yesterday. I've got a concealer on and it's not blocking it, but that's what happened. Nobody punched me in the face. Don't worry, actually Leo does punch me a bit in the face, but excuse the play area being all crazy because to be honest, if we don't get this video in, we're never gonna get it in. So we need to do this and we need to film. So he's sleeping and I'm so excited that he's going to daycare only two days a week. It means I can edit, it means I can film, it means we can start talking again. I am so excited, but I want to fill you in about this Cybex experience because a couple of people have already messaged me. The Cybex is basically your luxury answer to a, to a pram. It's stylish, it's sexy, it comes in the beautiful chromes, it comes in those, you know, stunning rose golds. That's what attracted me to it. The magpie that I am, I didn't go for the weight or the actions of the pram, I just loved the look of it. Saying that though, the pram itself is a very usable pram and the reason I'm telling you this is because the pream, the e pream, the 
um, electric one is exactly the same functions it's a slightly tiny bit heavier but just like a fraction that you won't notice but it still folds the same it comes in the beautiful mattes and chromes and rose golds it attaches the carry cot the Lux carry cot even the names of this brand are just gorgeous and delicious and Leo used the carry cot until he was about five months and then he used the the normal pream seat and the thing I will note about the seat is Leo has another pram also at his grandparents house and the height of the seat is perfect if you have a tall child Leo's head is now hitting where the hood is on another pram we have which is designed for up to four years old the guy is one year old and the pream is way above his head so I will tell you that that's very useful Useful. but again the video is not just about comparing Cybex to other brands it's about comparing the new EPRAM to the original oh and by the way if you're a fashionista you're gonna love all the materials that it comes in it's like a myriad of different beautiful fashion collections and collaborations that they've done so that's another big plus now the difference and whether it's worth the money comparison. If you already saw it on Cybex, you're like, yep, it's my brand. I love it. I'm going to get it. Should you get the EPRAM or the original pram? My thing is go big or go bigger. If you're going to go there, you might as well go for the EPRAM. I love the experience. If I haven't already put the footage in, I'll put it in now. Leo. What do you think, baby? What do you think of the color, babe? I got gray to be different from the black of the... Is he comfortable? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Put a little hood over. Sun protect. Wow. Oh, that's it. I think it's right. It's all right. Yeah, it slowed down going down there. Yeah? yeah. What, did you hear that? Yeah. You push it. What does it feel like? You push it. It's going to kick in now. Go on, you do it first. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> Is it stalling down the hill? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think you're supposed to keep your hands on it. Yeah. Let me see Leo. Oh, he looks comfortable. Have you seen him? No. Is he happy? Yeah. Do you like him, my heart? Oh, he's so happy. Is it comfy cozy? He's happy. If you were going to get a Cybex, would you get the E-Pram or just a normal? I think it's worth it. I think so. Yeah. Especially where we live, where it's heavy, where it's healing. So we're out in the city and I've got the parking, um, not the parking assist, sorry, the, the pram on. There they go. down the slope. Got you. Good job. Should we do it again? Come on, Leo. Where are you going? <laughs> Good boy. My favorite feature is not necessarily the assist that helps you push the pram along, which is actually brilliant, but it's also the fact that when you're going downhill and you let go of the pram, not that you'd be doing that, it's not recommended, but it comes to a stop. It's almost like the new generation cars that all have brake hold right now. This pram is your answer to that. 
it's sold as a luxury city pram but i think truly it would be great for anybody with more than one child because if you're dealing with either a dog or a toddler and you've got a baby in there and you let go of the pram it will come to a stop it's a safety feature also i think it's great for people who love gadgets and it's great for people who love something new i think most brands will start coming out with their own answer to this i haven't updated you guys on this but i did wreck my foot during the pregnancy that's a whole other video but i will be needing a surgery and the cybex is definitely going to be my pram of choice when it comes to that because i'm going to be in a moon boot and it's going to be great so i've seen a couple of reviews that say the epram is somebody is for somebody that probably needs assistance like grandparents or somebody who's gone through a surgery or something like that but i think that's slightly skewed that opinion only because for it to be a grandparent assisting pram it doesn't need to look so damn hot. I think it's a new generation thing. I think it's your iPhone to your original home phone. And I think it's wonderful. One thing I will say though, because I don't want to be biased because it was given to me by Ansel Brands. I want to be honest because my obligation is to you, not them. If you are somebody for whom aesthetics don't matter so much and you're just constantly on the go and you just need to get out of the house and you just need a very light, easy going life. The charging of the battery for me is something that I had to remember and would put me off. Not because the battery is hard to charge, it's very easy, you just plug the pram in, but because I live in a house over three stories, my garage door sometimes doesn't work because it's temperamental. So, I just sometimes cannot carry the pram upstairs and Leo upstairs. He's a 13 kilo chunk. So if you have an organized life where you can just charge the thing, but also keep in mind the chargeable battery part comes off. So what I'm saying is just, I'm a lazy bum, but you can take off the battery and you can bring it upstairs and charge it. Mum life for me is already chaotic, so sometimes I would forget to charge it. However, the benefit of it is you can always just use it as a normal pram. So it's not something that's dependent on working. Like, you know, if you don't charge your iPhone, it doesn't work. With the pram, with the e-pram, it's still pream. I need to say the thing correctly. It still works. Um, I just think it's so aesthetically beautiful. It's a stunning a thing to use i just love it and as you can see it advertised here it's table seat height it's it's a gorgeous gorgeous product it comes with accessories and everything like that and the weight is 12.6 kilos i think that's an average weight for a pram and if you're not lifting it up the stairs then there's no problem and think about the fact that if it's assisted it feels like you're not pushing anything so for me overall it's a really impressive product. It's an innovative product. I like innovation in all things, always. So for me, it's a yes. If you're in the market for the Cybex in the first place, if you like the luxury look, if you like the rose gold, if you like the chrome, if you want that kind of experience, motherhood in itself can be something i'm putting the phone away nobody needs to know the stats i'm sure you can google them yourself if you really want the brand but i'm going to tell you as a human being if you want to have an experience in motherhood that is is more elevated if you want to look a certain way it's hard when you first have a baby especially as a first time mum. you feel like a loss of identity and you feel i don't care who you are even if mothering was your main goal in life you feel a slight loss of identity and you feel some kind of like vulnerability to the fact that I remember putting Leo in a pram, not the Cybex, but just the pram I had in his grandparents' house and I'm in leggings and I'm in sweatshirts, like off an am, but it's a fancy one today. And you're just walking and you're like, wow, I used to wear Manolos and have a Birkin. I still have Birkins, but like, you know, and it's also the, the crisis of the current world health and what's happening i feel like if you just want to prioritize yourself and prioritize how you feel i think the cybex has the camera been kind of oh that's better in it or isn't it anyway it doesn't matter oh hello that's we're just friends having a chat so i think if you want to prioritize that for yourself the cybex is such a beautiful thing to have because i think there's something to be said in life that when life is beautiful, I mean aesthetically, and it's a beautiful experience, it elevates the everyday 
routine and everyday things that you do for example i spent quite a bit on a water bottle it's black it's chrome it's gorgeous it's very sexy it's very easy to drink from the inside straw that you don't even see is gold i'm now drinking two liters of water i think the same thing applies to skincare when people have debates about you know uh, do you need all this fancy stuff? Like, why does this brand cost so much? I think sometimes in the human experience, when you elevate something, it's like fine dining or heels or anything. You just, you commit to it more. You create a ritual, you create an experience. And that's the Cybex for me. I'm not going to tell you that it's the best pram in the world because I don't know what the best is. I'm me. I'm Margarita on the internet. Like, I can't tell you what you are or what your aesthetics are but i would say that i love it i love the seat belts it's like a luxury beautiful experience and like me and simon said it's like business class for a baby right it's the business class pram so it's just like about elevating that every day for you so go to the store check it out if you love it let me know and let me know if you think the price is worth it um leo definitely enjoys it but anyway guys i'm so glad to be sending him off to university aka daycare and i've got so many videos to come out unboxings of luxury things that i haven't even opened they're sitting in my wardrobe waiting for me to have a chance for leo to go to daycare so that i can do this and i'm very very excited i feel like this year has been a blur i'm so glad i dedicated it to raising leo not that i'm stopping raising leo now i'm going to be with him every day but it's more like i really go harder go home go harder go harder i really dedicate myself to things and it's been a crazy year but it's been amazing and we've really bonded little leopard and i and now it's time to get these videos up and get back to work all right guys love you let's say jelly tots see you in the next one